Greetings everyone, this is Curtis Duncan, aka Dr. C, checking in with you. I uh, wanted to talk about uh, something serious here and um, you know, explain why um, many of the black hair care products is giving black women fibroids. Now I know uh, it's something that a lot, a lot of black women are afflicted with and um, you know, and even the movie Good Hair talked about some of the dangers associated with using uh, many different hair care products, and sodium hydroxide, etc. Uh, but this is something that I've been researching lately, the, the exposure, uh, particularly for many African American women, uh, to these uh, synthetic uh, xenoestrogens and how, and how they just wreak havoc on the female body. If you know anything about, um, you know, if you know anything about estrogen, you know, your body has nat natural estrogen in your body. When you put excess estrogen in your body, uh, you know, particularly from synthetic hormones like birth control pills, uh, and some of these estrogenic chemicals that are in the environment, which are basically uh, everywhere, you know, from pesticides to uh, chemicals found in plastics, then uh, you have a situation where uh, women uh, is going to develop breast cancer, have uh, you know have endometriosis, fibroids, all types of issues that come as a result of estrogen dominance. Uh, and if you, that's all fibroids is. It's a disease of estrogen dominance. Which is, you know, caused by primarily by the diet, uh, stress, and a host, and being exposed to these environmental uh, chemical synthetic estrogens. And black hair care products tend to be something that a lot of black women use a lot of very frequently. And these tend to be heavy, uh, and many and, ma and many estrogenic chemicals. There's a study that I posted in the description box which details this. It talks about breast cancer, uh, but as I said, um, you know, I'll post another link in the description box. Fibroids is a disease of estrogen dominance, so uh, we have to take this in, in, into consideration. We look at all, you know, the rise of fibroids and all these other diseases uh, amongst Black women. Uh, they're just being exposed to very high levels of, of these estrogen mimicking chemicals, uh, via diet and beauty products, because uh, that's something that you know is not widely discussed. A lot of people know about diet and all the dangers of that, but you know we don't really discuss all the dangers in deodorants and all this other stuff. Uh, so it's something that to really consider, uh, and uh, many of these xenoestrogens that are found in black hair care products, and they also put placenta in it, which uh, also contributes uh, to estrogen dominance. You know, placenta is you know from a baby, but doesn't you know necessarily uh, belong in your body, particularly in continuous amounts. Then uh, that will increase your risk of uh, estrogen dominance and diseases of that, uh, which include uh, fibroids. So that's something that you know is not widely discussed, uh, but just know, ladies, um, that you know all those all those hair care products out there. You find that those many of those quote unquote black hair care shops are, are toxic, they're garbage, um, and it'd be wise if you avoided them. Uh, but just know that fibroids is a very easy disease to heal from. Uh, you know, it can be easily uh, cured uh, through um, you know a change in diet, um, you know, managing your stress levels. Uh, and, uh, and definitely avoiding all these environmental estrogens and also boosting your liver functioning. And my book, A Woman's Guide to Herbs, has an uh, abundance of natural remedies for fibroids and also herbs that can help boost your liver functioning because your liver is responsible for moving all of the excess uh, estrogen from your body and all, all these estrogenic chemicals that, you know, so many of us are being exposed to, men and women. Uh, it's just amazing the amount of uh, chemicals, estrogen mimicking chemicals people are being exposed to these days. And it really wreaks havoc, really wreaks havoc on a female's body more so than a man's. You know, even, you know, it does cause some very noxious health effects in men too, but it's really, really dramatic for women. Uh, because they have fatty tissue in their breast and those chemicals tend to be stored there and, uh, you know, have fatty tissue in their ovaries. So it causes some really um, harmful diseases. So. Just know, ladies, that uh, particularly black women, that if you're dealing with all these uh, in all these uh, hair care products, they're toxic, and be best to avoid them. So, uh, if you want information on curing uh, fibroids or healing from it, feel free to reach out to me. Um, some something I've done a lot of research on um, because I know a lot of women who are afflicted by it, but it's a very easy disease to heal from. Um, you know, just change your diet and managing your stress. Uh, you know, and um, you know, and avoiding all these xenoestrogens, which I have thoroughly researched within the past uh, a couple of years now. So uh, feel free to reach out to me. Um, thanks again for everything. Share this video with others. Uh, it's very important, uh, you know, dealing with our black female health here. 
but just know that yes, you know, you'd be better off just uh, using another more natural um, hair care products in your head. So thanks again. Take care. Peace.